to run some errands and I'm also going out for a meal with my grandmother later so I thought I would do a get ready with me video. Um, I don't know if your grandmother is like this but I don't know if it was like um, like uh, the, 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 the way they grew up like, like just a different generation but my grandmother is quite posh <laughs> only she isn't. I mean, she's worked um, till she retired, um, but she she is quite posh. So um, if I don't attempt to look half decent when I visit her, I will get not told off, but she will make comments like, "Couldn't you make an effort?" kind of thing. So I'm gonna run some errands first, though, and I thought. I won't bother coming back, I'll just go straight for my meal with my gran. So do it all at once. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I've already like taken a shower, cleansed my face, moisturised it and everything. I'm just getting ready now. Um, do you do makeup first and then your hair or do you do your hair and then your makeup? I do my makeup first. Um, just so I can get like into like every nook and cranny. If my hair is like done, I'm always like getting it out of the way so I just think it's easier to um, just to do it this way um, makeup first but you do you I don't think it really matters but um, yeah so leave a comment down below though what do, what do you do makeup first or hair first so I have to look semi put together today like if I don't look amazing it's fine but I have to at least make an attempt to look half awake like if I was running errands like just errands I might not even bother with the makeup but I'm thinking I've got like the acne and I don't know whether to add more foundation or just cover it up with concealer um, I think I'm just gonna cover it up with concealer because I don't like putting too much foundation I'm one of those people that thinks less is more and I don't want to be like caked in it but um yeah I think that doesn't look bad for a base I don't look terrible I look a bit more awake now um so yeah doing that um so yeah um if you've seen my last get ready with me video same products if I find something that I like I tend to stick with it so for the foundation I'm using Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid number 10 ivory i am pale so i'm going for the pale thing so that's the foundation and then the concealer is maybelline's instant anti-age eraser i love this <laughs> at one time i just like caked my entire face in it i was just like this is so good i'll use it as a foundation but um yeah i just don't really use it as a highlighter i use it as a concealer just to like get in all them spots I've got not a bad breakout like massively oh my hair's in the way but um yeah I've got some the odd spot here and there so just doing that I will leave um a list of all the products that I use but like I said if you saw my last one it is the same products. I'm just coming in with it to like get any redness because my face is quite red even when I have the foundation on. So, and then I just use the Beauty Blender to like tap it in and get in all the nooks and crannies. That one spot right there is bugging me. It's just red. As well, it's not like I've got a head or anything, but just tap it in there. So, yeah, um, because I am right, did your gran ever do this to you? Right, my gran, um, she is very girly, and I'm not. I have girly moments, but I'm more of a tomboy, um. I don't even remember where I put the 
can see that. There we go. Um, I think I need a bit more on these spots. They're just like really shining through. Um, so yeah, a little bit more there. Oh, that one's really bugging me. That one's annoying. Um, so yeah, my ground is quite curly and I'm not. And when I was younger, I used to bite my nails and it used to drive her crazy. And now I don't. Um, but she, every time I used to, she used to like move my hand away from my mouth. She wouldn't slap it or anything. She just like sort of like, no. <laughs> so um, I guess I've grown out of it, but I've not because I still bite them every now and then just not like I used to. I used to bite them a lot. So as you can see, I have got some nails. Um, yep. But she used, it used to drive her crazy. Okay, that's not terrible. I look awake. That spot's not going to get any more covered. And like I said, I don't want to be caked in it. Just putting it down there. Okay, so now I am going to set it with some setting powder. And I get mine from a YouTuber who I follow. She is an Australian YouTuber. Her name's Nakia Joy and she has her own brand of cosmetics. And I just fell in love with her setting powder. It's just so nice. Just gonna dab that in there. And I think I'm gonna wear a bit of jewellery as well. Um, not a lot, just a bit. I like wearing jewellery and I don't normally have a lot of places to wear it. So, um, and all my friends have like kids and stuff. So if I go around, I don't really want to wear jewellery and have the kid yank it and stuff. Um, so I try not to wear it that much, but I think today I'm going to wear some. I don't know if you hear that, the cat just cried. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get, I think. Like I said, less is more. Set it in, try and get it all in. Now, I don't know about you, but I love silver jewellery. Um, I don't really like gold that much. Do you prefer silver or gold? Leave a comment down below. I wonder if there's more silver or gold. I also don't think, I don't know if it suits me. Some people, either metal suits them. And I have no idea if gold suits me. I just always preferred um, silver. So, I am going to... This silver ring I got from uh, Pandora. It was a gift. It was a birthday gift from my friends. Um, so I think I'm gonna put that on. So yeah, earrings or no earrings? I'm a bit funny with earrings because I think I have funny sheet like earlobes and like some of the earrings don't suit. Like I've had hoops and dangles and it doesn't like suit my face or something. And then, um, so I tend to stick with studs but even then, some of them don't look quite right. And then sometimes I get, not a headache, but I don't like wearing earrings for long. So I don't know. I'll put them in and see how I feel. I do have my ears pierced. Um, I was quite a late-ish bloomer when it came to getting my ears pierced. I was 16 when I got them done. Um, 
parents didn't really think that uh, a baby should have their ears pierced, which is fair enough. Um, they thought it would be up to me to make a decision about my body, so nice. Um, but then I was like, everyone else had their ears pierced but me, and I used to wear like clip-on ear earrings. Do not recommend. Um, so yeah, I was 16 when I got my ears pierced, and I don't wear earrings that often. I used to wear them more when I was younger. See, I don't... Can you, like, see the bud, the studs, and how? Yeah. Now for the hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's... I don't know. Straighten it, curl it, put it up, put it down. I typically put it up in some way because I'm in desperate need of a cut. Um, still a bit wet from the shower. Um, I haven't put any eye makeup on because I don't know about you. I rub my eyes a lot. <laughs> like I don't know why. I'm like always tired or like, I've got an itch or something, so I'm always rubbing my eyes, and then I get makeup everywhere. So I tend not to wear eye makeup. I'm gonna put in some lip balm because my lips are really bad. So I'm using Nivea's Rosehip Oil Scrub. I really like it. It's nice and gentle and moisturising. I think it's like vitamin E. So yeah. I haven't got any blush or contour stuff at the moment, so that is my makeup, that's my face done, that is my face, I just need to figure out what to do with the hair, up, down, straight curl, <laughs> it's funny, um, my hair, naturally a mess, right? And I was 16, again, 16, that's when I started to like, realise I was a girl kind of thing. <laughs> no. um, that's when I made friends with like really girly friends. And um, they were like, do you think your hair is straight? And I was like, well, yeah, because it's not curly. It is not curly. If it is more kinky than anything. It's not, it's like, so I was like, yeah, it's, it's pretty straight. And then they introduced me to hair straighteners. And then I was like, huh, it isn't straight. You know what? I'm going to straighten my hair. It's been a while. Oh, what I'm going to do is put some argan oil in my hair. I forgot to do that. Blow dried it. So I forgot to put argan oil love the smell and the feel of it in my hair so yeah i think i'm gonna straighten it it's been a while since i've done that um so yeah i was 16 and my friend straightened my hair for me and then it was like i fell in love with my hair sort of then and i was like oh wow it does look nice and then i was like um I want to straighten my hair all the time and so I did and now I'm older and I really can't be us with the maintenance of my hair so I normally just shove it up in a bun or a hair clip a hair cloth also I'm worried that straightening it has damaged it over the years I don't know. I used to do a lot of like heat protectant on my hair, but then I was like, is it actually protecting my hair or is it just, you know, um, a waste of money? And I still don't know the answer. My hair's always been rubbish. I've always been jealous of other people's hair. Um, 
thick hair, thinner hair. I just have rubbish hair. Like, I don't even know. It's very dull, lifeless. It needs a cut, definitely. Um, but yeah, no. We'll straighten it, I think. Do it. I also want some oomph on the top because my hair is like thinning on the top. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of tins, power ceramic hair straighteners. I've had these for <sighs> over 10 years. Um, maybe 15? How long do hair straighteners last for? I don't know. Um, But yeah, I will just partially, I only do like half of this, sometimes I won't even bother on, I'll just run the straighteners through my hair, because I don't expect it to be completely straight, because see, it's like straight and then it kinks at the ends, I've got kinky hair, that's what I've always said. But once I've got my straightened, you can see the difference. And I really need to stop getting ready so I can go. So I'll just wait for the straighteners to heat up a bit. I mean, I do like these hair straighteners, but there's no real settings. It's either on or off. So I don't know like how hard it is like it might be too hot these are the newer ones you can control but I'm one of those types of people that if it still works why buy a new one I only buy things if it's broken and I can't fix it see even like now you can tell the difference between straight hair and wow that was really bad you can see the steam my hair's not quite dry or oh, damp in any Now I know you can do it three times, but I can't be asked. So we're just gonna do it twice and pray for a miracle. I know you're probably all thinking, oh my gosh, she's doing it wrong, but does it matter really? So it doesn't stay straight all day or um, it's not completely straight. I don't want it to be. I mean, I don't mind. I think now I'm straightening it, I kind of want to curl it. I really can't decide. See now, just thingy things. There we go. See, it looks a bit nicer now I've straightened it. I look pre more presentable. Thank you so much for getting ready with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.